the million dollar parking problem in the cataract city. Seven Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley breaking down the details on this story tonight. Well, Keith, in some ways, it's a good problem. So many tourists are coming to see Niagara Falls that parking lots are full and the overflow is filling up city streets. But many tourists are not obeying parking signs, especially ones that limit free parking to only two hours. What's worse, violators are leaving town and not paying parking tickets. Niagara Falls estimates since 1991, it has lost more than $2 million in unpaid parking tickets and fees. Money officials believe they will never recover. But going forward, Mayor Paul Deister says the city is now looking at installing meters in the downtown tourist areas, something that will have multiple benefits. What we're more concerned with is getting a parking meter system in place so that all of these people that are coming and parking in downtown Niagara Falls start putting some revenue to our bottom line. And then in conjunction with the institution of uh, you know, the pay and display uh, or, or similar system on the streets, we'll have an enforcement uh, issue then going forward. Enforcement will be easier for Niagara Falls police because instead of constantly going back to see which cars have been parked too long, officers will be able to see quickly which vehicles have paid and for how long. Now, of course, one of the big problems is making sure you don't scare off potential tourists by creating a reputation as a tough parking town. But officials say they will be looking for repeat offenders. We'll have more on that part of the story coming up at 6 p.m. At Riley 7 Eyewitness News. Tonight we have some pictures from